Hey guys, what's up? Daniel here. Today we're checking out the iPhone 6S clone. Now I'm very excited because I don't know if you guys remember, but last year I got one and it was a very bad clone. I was basically ripped off. So this year I paid around $140 again and I got this one on DHgate, but it's available on a bunch of websites like that. And I got the iPhone 6S clone in the space gray color. Now uh, this year, I mean, it's the complete opposite to last year. The phone actually works really well. It feels really well and it comes packaged really well. I mean, the box that it came with is a white box that looks a lot like the box on the iPhone 6. And if you've never seen a box of the iPhone 6 in person, then this would really be able to fool you. It even comes packaged the same way. It has markings for Apple and different things on the back. So it definitely does look like the real thing. And opening it up, you do get the phone itself. Now it does come in a sleeve, which is kind of like a bit of a throwaway, of course, since Apple never does that. But you also get the accessories. So you got the lightning cable, the ear pods, and also the charging block itself to connect it to the wall. And all of these feel a little bit more premium than they did last year. And even the Apple EarPods box has the Apple logo on the back, which makes it look extremely authentic and like the real thing. Now, even all that isn't as impressive as the actual phone itself. Now, first off, every single port and button is where it should be. I mean, this looks exactly like what an iPhone 6S could look like, and it even looks just like the iPhone 6 that I have here. I mean, the FCC markings and the fonts used on the back of the phone looks almost the exact same thing as those used on the iPhone 6 that I have here. Now, if it weren't for the fact that I have the iPhone 6 here, I don't think I would have noticed the difference. And if it's someone that has never used an iPhone 6 before, I don't think they'd be able to tell that this was a fake iPhone. This is really well made. I mean, the build quality just feels really good. It's definitely not as great as the metal on the iPhone 6, but it's really good. And you can kind of feel that they actually tried this time around. Now the biggest design difference that you might be able to tell on camera is that the clone has a slightly darker shade of gray. I'm not sure if that's the shade that Apple will go with for the iPhone 6S. I'm kind of hoping it's a little bit darker or if this is just the manufacturer's choice for the color. Now one thing that I have noticed is that my iPhone 6 was from kind of like the first batch of iPhone 6s and the color has actually gotten a little bit darker on the newer models. And you'll notice that if, you've, if you have someone that has the older one or one of the first iPhone 6s, and a kind of one they bought in June, and I noticed that early, or a few months ago, which is quite interesting. So uh, this is just a little bit darker, and it's kind of noticeable. We'll see what Apple announces, but I'm hoping it's a little bit darker than this. Now, one thing that's a little bit subtle that you won't notice on the upcoming iPhone 6S that's true about this clone, it's that it's just a tad bit thicker than the iPhone 6. And this is gonna be so that they can add force touch on the upcoming iPhone 6S, and also hopefully add a larger battery, and of course, some better specs. Now, there's no word yet on whether Apple will be keeping the extruding camera or not, but it, it does appear like they will keep it since they didn't remove it on the latest iPod. And also there's no reason for them to take it off on a 6S when they can just take it off on the 7 and you know make it look like a brand new phone. But with that said, on the front of the iPhone 6S, we also have a front facing camera in the middle of the microphone grill, like on the top, as opposed to the left side, which we have on the iPhone 6. So that might move on the iPhone 6S, who knows, we'll know when it launches. Now, one of the most important things about the clone is how well it performs. It is running a heavily skinned version of Android, but everything works as you would expect on iOS 8. All of the apps launch either a really well cloned version of an Apple app or an app that does the same function, but from a different company. For example, Maps takes us to Google Maps and the App Store takes us to the Play Store in which you can actually download any app you'd like. Apps like WhatsApp and WeChat work just fine. And then we also got like Temple Run 2 and Angry Birds 2 that run as well as they would on any other device. They don't run as fast or open up as fast, but they definitely do run without any problems and uh, it doesn't really impede the gaming experience all that much. Now, the only app I couldn't really get to work was YouTube. I'm not sure why, but I could always just use the mobile version with the Safari clone that they have, which actually loads things pretty quickly. But you can, of course, download Chrome and use that since it works a little bit better. Now, uh, with all that said, I mean, the screen itself produces some accurate colors and the text looks sharp. The phone accepts SIM cards, GSM cards, so you can use any SIM card that you want. I use my T-Mobile SIM card and it worked just as it should. And this is a real phone. I mean, it's clone, but it's, it's a full working, almost a mid-range Android phone. The camera worked just as you would expect. Sure, it doesn't look very good and you're not gonna use it for actual picture taking, but you could use it in case of an emergency or anything like that. 
But with that said, guys, this video is kind of just to show you how incredible it is and how good these companies are getting at making clones of real phones. And you can get scammed very easily on eBay or Craigslist with one of these since it looks like the real thing. All right, guys, so I do want to take a few seconds to thank our sponsor for this video, and that is Pro Opinion. Now, Pro Opinion is a free website full of business professionals, which you can communicate and learn from. Now you can also participate in some surveys which will contribute to the improvement of products that you use all the time. And also while doing so, you can earn some rewards in the process, which is always really cool. Now I'll have a link down below in the description so you guys can check it out. Aside from that guys, thanks for watching this video. And if you liked it, make sure to leave a like because that always helps. And as always, you can comment down below or reach out to me on Twitter at RMRDNL or at DarGadgets. And I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And yeah, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Goodbye.